Hi guys, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. We're back in Medulla, and I actually Is want to talk to the Emerald Herald because we have a shard. Here. Let me see it. Actually, see I can skip However, this because we've already heard her say that. So we're going to upgrade our shard to uh, have three now, which is very helpful. And I'm also going to level up a bit because uh, that always helps as well. Hello, some random cleric dude. Uh, let's... Hmm. Trying to think of a weapon that... I'm not pretty sure... Hmm. I'm not sure, but we will get that to ten. I'm pretty sure it has to be pretty high um, and I think I want to get my endurance up a bit uh, so we'll put our dexterity to 10 which will actually increase our damage just slightly and we'll put up endurance so we have more stamina there we go thank you for that level up All right now we will travel back to cardinal cardinal or whatever we'll just go back to where we were with previously in the last episode Blacksmith's hammer. Damn it! I just realised. Oh, I'll do. I'll do it next time we go back to Bajula. I could have opened the uh, blacksmith's door. While we're here, actually, where was it? Um, here. What was it? Wow! You need to have 13 dexterity. Okay, right. Here's a good thing to uh, do now, while we're looking at these shields, and this can actually help us quite a lot. So these are two shields here. At the bottom here, we have some numbers and some symbols. Basically, this tells you what you need stats-wise in order to equip this specific item. So we know this one here is strength, this one's de uh, dexterity, this symbol here is intelligence, I believe, and this here is faith. So I don't need any intelligence or faith uh, to wear this. I need 7 dexterity, which obviously I've got um, 11, I think, or more than that. And I've only got 10 dexterity, so you can see it's in red, so I can't equip it. And when I do, it says we are unable to use this item effectively, and you can see the downscale that we have here. Uh, usually it would block... There we go. It would usually block... Yeah, there you go. That's the only way I can do it. It block 75%... Well, yeah, 75% of all physical hits, but because we can't wear it effectively, we lose about... The, we lose 31%, so it re really, really horrible. So we can use this, which is a small shield, um, effectively, as you can see, because we've got higher stats to use it, we actually get bonuses, because as you can see, it scales just by strength. These ones here are the scaling, so this one scales with strength, so the more strength I have, the more stats and bonus stats I will get. But for now, I don't have that much strength, so it's not going to be that amazing. So we've got a little small shield. We can block not all damage, but we also can parry, which I'll try and show that off as well. Um, there are a couple of things to the combat in this game that's quite useful. The first one is backstabs, uh, where if you get behind an enemy, you can effectively stab him in the back for incredible damage, uh, which I do tr try and do quite a lot. And the second one is parry, which I'm not that great at, which I actually effectively did one to show you guys off. So that's a parry, it's kind of different in this one compared to the first game. In the first game I prefer it because it's easier, in this one you have to kind of wait for them to hit the floor before you press attack to kind of stab them and it does quite a lot of damage. So it's a risk reward function kind of thing, if you mess the parry up which is kind of like a fine timing, you will probably get stabbed in the face and get quite damaged. Right, so let's continue on, slice this fall up. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, do I have a something? No, I don't. I'm actually going to go back, uh, and I'm not going to sit at the bonfire because I'm not going to respawn everything. Basically, in this game, when you sit at a bonfire, everything respawns. But I'm actually going to buy something from this lady up here uh, that will help me unlock a successful shortcut without trying to aim at something. So, we'll buy three. I'll buy three. Just in case I miss twice uh, for some unknown reason. Yes, I know. Thank you kindly. So those fire bombs will be used to explode something in a second. Uh, I will show that off because it's a really useful uh, shortcut to have, um, especially if you just want to kind of go back there uh, pretty fast. Right. So we'll go over there in a second, but uh, I want to go unlock this shortcut 
because it's usually my number one priority. Let's try and do a backstab here. There we go. I know I think I showed that off in the uh, first episode, I think, when I parried B. See, there we go. That's a, a showcase of showing if you hit him too fast, you won't actually get the uh, animation to do critical damage. But this is the area to get these bombs. But uh, I'm quite surprised I'm, I'm getting quite a lot of parries here. Oh, son of a... Right, let's launch that. There we go. Those barrels have got gunpowder in and explode to unlock a little shortcut. He... Ah, oh, son of a... He was lucky. He was lucky. Let's try and... Uh, okay, no here. Nope, no. I want to parry this guy. There we go. Ah, oh, son of a... I'm, I'm used to just pressing immediately, so I do fail quite a lot of parries. Let's sit down, actually, because I'm not wasting anything. Right, so now that's done. Uh, I actually want to go back down here, instead of going that way, to uh, go retrieve something, I guess. Uh, which should be another Estus Slash. No, yeah, yeah, I think it would be, yeah. Let's parry this guy. Boom, yes! Yes! Showing off my MLG Pro skills. Hollow Soldier's Armor. I don't think it's better than what I'm wearing, but it's pretty decent, I guess, for like the beginning. So this guy, I want to try and kill every time I come down here because he can drop a weapon that I don't have to wait around for. That's really good, which probably will be the weapon I use throughout this game, uh, which is the Bastard Sword. Nope. I was trying to, trying to parry. Shouldn't parry too much because I suck at parrying. I need to get better though. Nope. I failed. Again. Let's, let's not. Let's not parry again. I, I think that's uh, a bad choice. Bad life choice, I think. Let's not fight this guy on there where the archer can get me. Apparently the archer can still get me. Son of a bitch. There's two archers. Okay. Let's... This, this, this dude. This dude seriously needs to just stop, I guess. There we go. Did not like him. Oh, you coming up? Are you coming up? What were you doing, kneeling? Oh god, that was that was that was bad. Let's. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. There we go. Right, we will get that archer eventually and have our revenge. But for now, I actually just want to go. Did the just seriously get me in the air? That was an awesome shot, but he still needed to die. Right, so let's go down here. I don't think there's any enemies. Nope. Right. We'll wait. Da, 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 da. Anyway. Let's pick that up. I've never been killed by that, surprisingly. And I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, <laughs> I did get told of that um, trap, though. Uh, so I think I knew before most people ran, ran in there blindly and realized there was a boulder heading for their face. I think that already happened to mine, but you never know. Anyway, this oh, guy. I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming, I think. Daydreaming. My name is Kale. Hello, Kale. I'm a traveler like yourself. I'm more an ad adventurer. I navigate the continent to create a map. Oh, that's Why nice. Cartography, you ask? No, I just said well, it was nice. A good question. I didn't ask a question. Don't go, go, no. First came into this forsaken land. Now he's telling me his life story. Um, oh, no, has he forgotten? Amnesia? Curse? Yes. Uh, something about a curse. Is your mouth moving while you talk? <laughs> no. I think he's effectively he talking out of his. Ar I think I am talking to his ass. This I guy is talking. Out of his ass. I've always been very fond that is a skill. Or he's a ventriloquist. And he could probably be using his ass like a puppet. Some time ago. You never know. Things like that can happen. Link, the lost kingdom. It sounded so romantic. I don't Have think anyone's going to love a talking asshole. Well, there's a rather to be honest. Mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Hmm. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. Go on. I believe that it's a map of Dreamland. 
Sweet, I'll take a picture and we'll be on our way. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Oh. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. What? what? Wait. No. That wasn't it. No, because how would that work? And Never mind. I'm just. I don't seem to recall. <sighs> Good. I don't want your life story, mate. Please. I just you want. Came to that map? Yes, maybe. Maybe if they'll let me in your house. Then you are fascinated by maps, just like me. No, just houses. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Well, I'm sorry. I was put off by the talking Here, ass. Take this. A key to the mansion. Finally, that's the thing I wanted. It's a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. Incredible, really, isn't it? I haven't so seen it yet, so I can't really talk about the map. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. Hmm? Now, I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. Hmm. I'll be back in Majula soon. There we go. Perhaps we will meet again and discuss maps at our leisure. Not likely, mate. I'm never going to be talking to you again. I don't think. Probably not. Anyway, we have the key to the mansion in Majula. We will be going back there because something in there is quite important. And you'll see that once we go back. But we have to kind of dodge this archer douche. Son of a... Every time I just suck at dodging arrows. There's just nothing I can do. If there was ever a boss that fired arrows, I think I'd be screwed. I would be incredibly screwed. Right, so... I actually... I'm heading back to Medulla now. We will continue going through this place soon. But I do want to get myself fully prepared for what's to come. And we can also open the blacksmith, finally, which will help as well. Which I should have opened the door sooner, to be honest. Right, the fading soul. Fading soul of a lost undead who has... Damn it, man. The low time's amazing, but damn it, I want to read. There we go. We now have access to the blacksmith once he moves his lazy ass inside. We will open his chest, however, <laughs> because we're stealing. And we get a short bow, which I'll probably use. I think I might use. Ah, yes. Very good. Oh, yes. You have your tools on your belt, man. You could have... <sighs> Damn. But first, let me set up. Come again later. Okay, will do. Right, so let's go inside of the mansion over here. It's a big house. It's not really a mansion. I mean, seriously. I don't think he knows that well. Well, it's a house key, so it's not really a mansion, I guess. It's just a massive house. Right, so the first piece of tre treasure we want to get is the Ferris Lockstone. What? Uh, what? I've never heard that noise before, to be honest. Right. Next, we will go over here. Oh, it's probably just the noises down there. Right. Let's go up here and grab the next bit of treasure. And we'll get Titanite Shard 3. Holy, I didn't know you got 3. And 3 uh, torches, so that's quite nice. Each torch gives 5 minutes, so I now have 15 or 16 minutes. I think I still had 1 minute left. This over here is the uh, map he was talking about. I mean, come on, it's just, just a shape, really. Doesn't really give you a hint as to what the hell places are. Right, and down here is where we want to go. But this is the thing he was uh, worried about us. I don't know, maybe you just thought we weren't skilled fighters. Wow, he still got me? MLG fucking skeleton or what? Thank you. And he drops a human effigy, which is always nice. Right, so the first bit of treasure down here is the Estus Last Shard, which, like I say, is always helpful. And inside this chest here is Twinkling Titanite 2. What? Okay. I'm not sure if that's always been Twinkling Titanite. I'm pretty sure they've changed that. That used to be um, a soul vessel. I'm pretty sure it used to be a soul vessel. They might have changed it uh, uh, during a patch. I don't know. 
I'm pretty sure that was a soul vessel. That's really made me confused now. I'm really confused. At least we got two Titanite shards. That's pretty good. Not Titanite shards. Twinkling Titanite, which is used to upgrade magical items. We probably might do it. Probably might not. I don't know. But for now, we still have two Twinkling Titanite shards, which is always useful, I guess. Right, so let's go get our is fourth... Shard, you yes, know. it's our How fourth Estus flask. Pray to this woman a bit. Ah, oh, the hell, I'm tall compared to her. She really doesn't want to look at my face, does she? She knows. Right, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. So, guys, thanks for watching. Click the annotation in the top right to watch the next video when it comes out. Also, subscribe to see more videos. And as always, see you in the next video, guys.